So this is the motor that was in this car when I purchased it. 1641 dual baby Cadrons, nice exhaust system, alternator, Petronix distributor. Had to replace the distributor and the coil, the gas tank. There's all different things that happened to it. First couple of months I had it, but I've been driving this around for four years all over back roads, and you guys have seen that. Anyway, there's the start of a new adventure coming. And there it is, all done and ready to go. There it is with the new engine in it, ready to take off down the road. I just had to let you guys hear it running for a second. So smooth. Hey everybody, the Big Debbie here. Well, there's something going on with the Baja bug that I haven't done in over 40 years. Uh, not this one. One uh, <laughs> I've had over 30 in that time range of them. And uh, this is something I've never had to do, but I decided to do it because it was time to do it. Well, I just got home and from after picking up the car and from having a new engine built for it, it's uh, went from the 1641 dual carb to a 1600 stock all new parts with a standard regular single carb on it so I could get more fuel economy and go forever and then some. This guy did a great job on it. He's been doing it forever and a long time and very extremely professional. And uh, it, I drove it all the way back home it was 22 miles and uh, ran like a champ and calm quiet smooth uh, everything was he used some of my stuff on here like my alternator and my distributor and the coil but I had a new carburetor ready in a box and a new uh, breather this is this one's just kind of temporary Got all new shrouding for it. This is heater box free. That J tubes on there. And uh, went ahead with a, an extra sump and a remote oil cooler system on it too. You can see that. And a brand new oil cooler within the fan shroud on the engine. Everything has been cleaned up, repainted gone through all new clutch the clutch was a little a little glazed over so it got new and uh, new new motor mounts in there too because he was starting to separate from years of use well as you guys know I I would have loved to done this myself and it would have taken me quite a while to do it but uh, as you know that I'm uh, my wife's caregiver and and so I just can't concentrate on things like this and the kind of time that it would take to do it and uh, I met this guy through a friend of mine that's also in the car show uh, super honest and super good at what he does and the people that work with him and and for him are great too just uh, it, this again is part of that Volkswagen community. Wonderful people, it's just like the club. I, I enjoy being around them and they're all so helpful and kind. And I made a list for this guy, everything that I wanted and what I wanted and how I wanted it. And he did it exactly, right to the, the, the smallest of degree. I mean, he, he took care of everything and then checked everything out and did a full safety check on everything, Make, made it the way I wanted it. So this was awesome and uh, it enables me when I get the opportunity to take it out and uh, take my therapist out and, and go and enjoy it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna double my fuel economy uh, the best I was getting was about 16 
and I know I should be able to get at least uh, 30 miles a gallon now, which is nice, but it rode smooth all the way coming home. Um, didn't have quite the uh, bottom end torque that it did with the dual carbs, but again, you just think about uh, the the things that are involved, you're able to push more air and more gas through it, you're gonna get some more low end power. And uh, so it it runs great, smooth. It I mean, it's so quiet and smooth, it sounds like a just a little electric sewing machine is so nice and quiet. But there were several things starting to wear out on the car. Uh, it was starting to leak oil in several, several places and it was sounding a little rattly and the engine was shaking a bit. So uh, he was able to take care of all those things for him. And again, I really appreciate all that he's done. But listen, I appreciate all of you guys coming along and checking this out. Again, I am very happy with the results. And hopefully in a couple of days, I'll be able to go out and take a little putt out in the outback and film that and see how it goes up and down the hills and the windy back roads that I like to go on. All right, so this is the Big W. I appreciate you guys coming along and we will check you on our next adventure. That's right, Big W Adventures. See you on our next adventure.